Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and one of the most popular ways to play Magic the Gathering in the world is Commander. But how did Commander come to be? Why exactly is it so popular? And how do you even play it? Let's take a look today. Commander is a format like nothing else before it. It's traditionally played multiplayer, so usually you'll be playing with three or four other people, and you'll bring a hundred card deck with a legendary creature of your choice to lead your deck into battle. And while winning is always great, the emphasis in a commander game is really on fun. You know that you've had a great time when everyone walks away from the table with a smile on their face. Many, many, many years ago, a small group of players started playing a multiplayer variant of Magic using the Elder Dragons from Legends, and this format evolved into what we know as Commander today. Commander is a format which came up through the community, and so we wanted to keep it with the community. And so it is our only major format which is not mostly managed by people here at Wizards of the Coast. It's managed by the Commander Rules Committee. That's Gavin Dugan, Toby Elliott, Scott Larrabee, and Sheldon Menery, who was there all the way back in the beginning. One of the reasons why Commander is so popular is because it's a very social experience. You sit down with your friends in a multiplayer game, you get to talk and hear what they're up to while you're playing a game of Magic. And because the format is mostly played for fun, it feels super low stakes. It's okay if you make a mistake, people will usually let you have takebacks, and they'll even give you suggestions if you want them. This also makes it a great place to learn Magic because someone else can give you advice if you need help. So what do you need? And how do you play? Let me walk you through it. To play Commander, you will need an 100 card deck, and almost any card is legal in Commander. So whether you're a new player who's coming into the game and just got a bunch of cards, or a player who's returning and has a bunch of old cool cards in their collection to dust off, Commander is a great place to start. To build your deck, you're going to first choose a legendary creature. This is your Commander, the general that your entire deck rallies behind. Now once you've chosen your Commander, there are a couple other deck building rules to keep in mind too. First of all, deck building is singleton. So outside of basic lands, you can't have more than one copy of any given card. Second, and very, very important, is the color identity rule. Your deck can only contain cards from the colors that your commander is. Notably, any mana symbols in the text box count for this, so Najila, for example, is a five color commander. But it's worth noting it works the other way too. You can't play a card like Ketria Triome in a Brian Statarm commander deck because of that blue mana symbol. The commander and color identity rules really make sure that every commander feels a little different to build around. And whenever you see a brand new legendary creature, you start thinking, hmm, what can I build with this? Now, once you start playing, there are a few other rules changes too. A really big one is that you start with 40 life rather than 20. 40 life means that the game will likely go on long enough that your commander can do whatever cool thing you want it to do. And speaking of commanders, that's a really big one here. Your commander starts in a place called the command zone, not your deck. Now the command zone is kind of like exile. It's off to the side of the game a little bit. But unlike Exile, your commander will be coming out of there a lot. The way it works is that you can cast your commander from your command zone for its mana cost. And if it ever goes anywhere but the battlefield, you can bring it right back to the command zone. Now for every time your commander has gone back to the command zone, it does cost two more to cast, but still, this means that basically over the course of a game, you will always have access to your commander. And finally, there's also a rule that helps you build around your commander if you want to. It's called commander damage. It's simple. If over the course of a game, your commander deals 21 points of damage to one of your opponents, that opponent loses. Now, while it doesn't come up in most games, it is a neat alternate way to win. And if you want, you can even build your deck with all kinds of auras and equipment to beef up your commander and try and off someone that way. So now, the big question, where to start? Well, if you have a bunch of cards lying around, you could try building your first commander deck yourself, but it's certainly a daunting process to get into. So I always recommend picking up a pre-constructed commander deck. A lot of people will tell you it really is the best way to get started with commander, and there are tons of them out there, so you can look for the color combination you like the most and grab that one. If you're on the fence, I really recommend one of our Zendikar Rising Commander decks. They're our most accessible commander decks ever and are perfect if you're trying to get into the format. If you're looking for advice on how to go build your own commander deck, I've got a video talking about just that you can go check out. All right, well, that's a brief overview of commander, but what other questions about the format do you have? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to take a look. I'll talk with you all again soon. And in the meantime, may you have a lot of fun with one of the most popular formats in all of magic. You got this. All right, the second category is Colossal Dreadmaw's Dinner. Mm, so mm. what's he going to be eating tonight? Annie, what did you bring to the table? All right, what you guys may not know is that Colossal Dreadmaw is actually a vegetarian. So I have Return to Nature. It's a nice little bundle of vegetables uh, that he very much enjoys. <laughs> Believe me. Wow.